Hello everyone and welcome to something different. My name is Tech Horsa and today we're going to be starting a series from Kerbal Space Program. Now I want to say this is episode zero. So I'm going to be basically going over what add-ons I have installed at this point, what I plan to install as soon as they get stable updates for 1.2. Point one, and the um, game settings that I'm going to be running with. So first off, a lot of these are just um, part packs. Um, there are a couple of UI adjustments and a couple of other quality of life mods in here. I will be copying the list and putting it in the description of this video so you'll be able to tell what mods I'm using. Um, but the main one that I want to point out because it's going to affect how I play this game a lot is going to be SETI's Unmanned Before Manned which basically gives access to probe parts earlier on and command capsules later on. It also shifts focus towards airplanes. And on that note, I do also have a bunch of the SETI contract um, packs, one of which is supposed to. Where'd it go? It's supposed to give um, better airplane contracts I don't see I know it's there but I don't see it um let's see I think that was it on the mods wait here we go it wasn't SETI it was just a um, part of a huge contract pack um, thing that I downloaded but anyways um, the ones that I'm waiting for to update to 121 is Kerbal Engineering Redux and MechJeb. Preferring um, Kerbal Engineer. Not sure how long it's going to be until I can get that one, but regardless, start new game. So start new. Let's see, is my flag there? There we go. And save name is going to be Tech Distri. Alright, and difficulty. So I'm going to adjust some things here. So missing crew member responds. I'm going to turn that off. Let's see. So I'm going to turn off the no entry purchase. With that, I'm going to bump up my starting funds to about 100k. And it's fine. I'm also going to be doubling all of the rewards, putting oh, putting fund rewards at 250%, everything else at 200%. I'm also going to put the penalties at 200%. and the climb penalty I'm going to leave alone. And this is to make it a little bit less grindy for me to unlock the tech tree, hopefully. I know it's not too grindy, but with the the unmanned before manned, it does make it a little bit harder to get science. So let's see, with advanced, Kerbals get experience. Um, they get experience immediately instead of when you recover the vessel. Um, I do plan on using long-term Kerbal stuff. I haven't installed any um, heart packs mainly for extra planetary bases, um, but I do plan on eventually. It's going to be slowing down my game now if I do it. But I do plan on getting like extra planetary launch pads, 
along with some of the other um, like extraplanetary bases or base part packs. Let's see, Kerbals do experience G-Force. Oh, I also have a couple of mods. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see, there's Kerbal Joint Reinforcements and Kerbal Crash System. Okay, I don't know where that one is. But anyways, I have both of those installed. They make the parts or the Kerbal Joint Reinforcement stabilizes vessels a lot more and the Kerbal Crash System makes it harder for them to explode on contact with the ground. So with those in mind, I'm going to put the pressure limits and G-force limits turned on to kind of... Um, Kind of give a little bit of a penalty towards that. Let's see. Always allow action groups, yes. Let's see. I haven't actually played too much with the comnet yet. Let's see, I do want the extra ground stations. Um basically what that's gonna do for me is there's gonna be ground stations around the planet that I can used to communicate with vessels that are out in space instead of just Kerbal Space Center. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hit that one. I should probably also require signal for control. No, I'm going to leave that as is. Leave that off. And then the rest of these are mod configs. I think I'm going to mainly leave all of these alone. Yeah, all of that's fine. Yeah, I don't know why I started messing with that. But anyways, to quickly review, I've turned off missing crew respawn. So if a Kerbal dies in a fiery explosion, I'm not going to be able to get them back. I've turned off the no entry purchase and I've increased starting funds and general rewards. Let's see. I've put in the pressure G force and Kerbal G force limits. I've always I'm always going to allow action groups. Um But anyways, I think that was it. So accept, and make sure we're in career mode, and start. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's grab a couple of our starting missions. We're going to start off with, let's see, what do we have here? Perform experiments around the Kerbal Space Center. I'm not sure if I have the parts for that, so I'm going to leave it alone for now. Alright, so giving aircraft a purpose. Build and fly your first mm -hmm. airplane. I like that. Give it to me. Um, SSI member service. Okay, accept this. Yada, yada, yada. Contracts, prototype marketplace, and assistance funding. Okay. I'll accept that. I'm going to leave the tech alone on those for now. I think I mainly wanted these guys which are more um, airplane based um, contracts and don't want that yet don't want that yet and don't want that yet so the main one we're going to be working on is building and flying our first airplane
Okay, I don't think I need anything else. So let's save and launch. So yes, we got to turn it on. And we got airborne. Simple as that. And now I've got to attempt to land. I've never been good at landing. Alright, here we go. Um, okay, I thought that might have had reverse thrust. Oh, there we go. Does it have reverse thrust? No? That's fine. There we go. Now we can recover and hope everything went okay. Alright, and I got all the funds I spent back, I sh at least. Yeah, 14,900. That should be about right. And he got a good 3 XP. <laughs> but anyways, that is going to be it for this video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all of my video updates. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.